Hey there fellow Adele collectors, welcome back to ABD on Down in the Museum with a gigantic box. And this box came from Sideshow Collectibles and it is from PCS, which is Pop Culture Shock. And this is the Battle Cat that goes with the He-Man that we unboxed last time for LPH. This is number 230 of, I don't know. It didn't say how much. Does it say? They usually say. It could be 230 of like a million. Maybe. I don't know. Or 230 <laughs> of 230. <laughs> Maybe. But well, I don't remember how many they're supposed to be. 500 pieces, I'm guessing. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Now these boxes, they come with a coupon right on them. Mm -hmm. It is a $20 coupon. $20, $20 off your next purchase, as long as your next purchase is whatever we want you to get. Yeah, a clearance item. Yeah, basically. It doesn't apply to everything, unfortunately. And you can only use one coupon. You can't, like, stack them. Yeah, I know. It would be nice if you could. I mean, when... Because... Not that I don't appreciate the coupons, but when you're talking about an item that costs hundreds, mm -hmm. and in some case even thousands, from uh, from the adult collector's market. When they say, hey, here's 15 bucks off, or something like that, it doesn't have too much of an impact. <laughs> it, I mean, hell, that won't even help you with shipping. No, oh, I was it right. won't even help you with taxes. On the bottom it says 230 of 500. Oh, okay. So, there we go. That. I've done this before. Now I'll make a little incision. You ever had trouble getting these things out of the boxes? That's how you release the vacuum. And there he is. Yep. Battle cat. He's in a big old box. Yeah, it is. Battle cat. Battle cat and He Man are. Still on clearance right now, um, so now is the time. If you thought about it, because I wasn't going to get it in your eye. I thought about it, thought about it, and then after it went on clearance and it stayed on clearance, and I had some coupons, <clears throat> I decided to get it in some points. Because if you buy from Sideshow, yeah, you collect points. Can you see that good? Yeah, you collect dollar points towards your next purchase. So I had some, and um, I got this and the He Man. Yeah. This shouldn't be too complicated to put together. No, the He Man definitely wasn't. Yeah, he Man was real easy. It was just one piece, it's, you know, just sticking on his shield and uh, I think his sword, and that was it. Yeah, it's not like our, our fixing him into the stand. Yeah. It's not like the Prime One Studios. Yeah, they give you a million pieces. And again, you see here, there's a little flap, and you can get under that and just release the vacuum. You don't have to struggle with the case to get it out. Yeah. So a lot of people I see uh, unboxing videos, and even people that have a lot of statues, and they are wrestling with that box, and I'm like, dude, didn't you know? Well, sometimes they don't. That's a really nice um, box art. It makes you just want to... Cut it and frame it. This side up, mm -hmm. here's a certificate of authenticity. And interestingly enough, there's a pair of white gloves in here. Yeah. And we, uh, there was a pair of white gloves previously with the He-Man, he but we missed that. Mm -hmm. And I do have uh, sets of white gloves. I don't always use them, though. I don't always use them. Although it does help if you want to make sure you keep the oils from your hands off of whatever you're working with. Go ahead and open this seam up all the way around with the battle cam up. I like the He Man. Mm -hmm. I was uh, I was only really if the only thing I was critical about when we reviewed it was the weapons. It's the weapons, I mean, you, you got this nice polystone statue, it's a great sculpt and everything, and then the weapons are made out of this, like, flimsy vinyl. Yeah. And I was like, wow, really? You know, you couldn't have... I would have gladly paid the extra five or ten bucks 
for a metal weapon. It's not that hard. I'm going to come a little closer. And this looks like a piece of the base. Yeah. I don't know if you got a yeah, yeah. good look at that. Mm -hmm. a head. Battle Cat's head. Helmeted head. Because this is the standard edition, right? Yeah. There's another one with the eyes light up, I think. I don't remember, but it is an exclusive edition. Yeah, it looks like of, a big magnet. Of course, they don't have any more. Yeah. Um, they only have the regular edition on clearance. That is a big head. Yeah, it is. Well, <laughs> big cat. Yeah. There's a tail, looks like. Yep. Looks like something that could be easily broken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Watch Where's out. The end of the tail look burnt. Well, it's fur. I guess. It's dirty. <laughs> it's, it's dirty. I guess. In the base. Here's. Okay, yeah. And of course, these two bases, they go right next to each other. Yeah. Whoa. Heavy? Yes, that is a heavy piece. Hmm. Castle Grayskull look to it, and then there's the bottom of the base there. Yeah. That's interesting. What? I wonder if I should uh, get the black light on that. Well, we don't have the black light handy. Is it looks like Chinese the writing? imprint of Chinese writing going down here. Yeah. You can barely see it. And I'm, I was just curious if that lit up under the black light or something. But We're not going to know what I don't it says. Ha anyway. I don't have it handy. Yeah, I can't read it. So. And you got to turn the base around when you're ready. Yeah. Here's the primary body. Yeah, oddly enough, I think the base was heavier than this. Hmm. What is that? Oh, that's messed up. Yeah, look at this. Some kind of maybe some paint. Yeah. Got on it or something? Probably so. It's a so. little mixed media strap and the strap doesn't really fit him. It's not form fitting at all. No, it's kind of loose. It's not adjustable. Well, the mixed media on the strap on He-Man's Baldrick had a couple of issues as well, if you recall. Yeah. When we did that review. It would be cool if you had a, a He-Man that could actually Ram. fit on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's riding it. He-Man isn't going to fit on this. Not not that one. Okay, so... He turns going up the hill. Yeah, because I see where his uh, foot peg goes right here. Mm -hmm. It should go right into this spot. And the paw, this paw, should fit into this part. Yeah. I just want to... That's what I was telling you. You got to turn the base around. Yeah. Oh, and then his foot kind of suspends. I guess that's what this is for. <laughs> oh. He's just kind of sticking under there. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> they, could did better. they couldn't attach it? I guess not. And that's that's going to slide right in there, and there's a magnet in this. Hopefully that's a really strong magnet, because his head is heavy. There it goes. Yeah. This battle cat's head, and then the tail. The tail, and then we'll uh, pan around him. We'll take the camera down and pan around this, just to. Take it's kind of just afterthought, little foot stain and there. The tail just kind of slips in there. Yeah. We're like, hey, wait a minute. What are we going to do with his other foot? Well, well here you go. Yeah, we'll just sculpt the rock for me real quick, will you, George? Yeah. And there he is. Mm, not that now. No. Nah. So, sizing? Yep. <clears throat> Let's see. Get the measuring tape out. And from the front of the base to the tip of the tail looks like about 32 inches. Okay. And height 
is about 18 and a half. Well, not too bad. Yeah, and then the width, the width is going to be a little awkward. I'll mm. go from the edge of the, the base to the outside of the saddle, which looks like it's going to be about 10 and a half inches wide. Okay. I like the coloring on the uh, on the saddle, and it looks worn in the seat uh -huh. part, and his paws are dirty. You can see where it's like Like mud. a real cat? <laughs> Their yeah. Claws are always muddy. Yeah, you can see its paws are muddy. And take and the camera down and pan around it. Okay. So you can go ahead and continue on with your observations there. Okay. You're done? Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Battle Cat. One thing I noticed was locking the head in. You can see the seam here going all the way around. It's like a, a crack, it looks like where the seam connects and it goes all the way around his head there. So that is noticeable. They tried to make it look like an overlap of fur but you can tell if you know what you're looking for. That is a deep looking saddle and it almost looks as if uh, He-Man could ride it but He-Man's not going to sit on this. They should have, it would have been interesting if they had made the He-Man so that somehow he could set on the Battle Cat, but they didn't do it. The claws are interesting, and they actually come to a point and feel sharp. I like the detail on the mouth. Like I said, this is the regular edition, this is not the uh, special edition where the helmet I believe comes off and also has light up eye features. One thing I really liked about these was just the Castle Grayskull kind of sculpting on the base all the way around. Little disappointed with this, the mixed media. I don't think they did too good of a job with the mixed media on this or the He-Man. The, as I pointed out, the weapons or like this soft vinyl and you know collectors paying this much for stuff they'd be happy to pay a little more for a metallic weapon like Sideshow did with the Thundercats where that's actually die cast metal I, I mean you're spending this much anyways an extra five or ten bucks isn't gonna make a difference the mixed media on the Baldrick is also kinda bunchy and weird with He-Man as well because his chest plate is permanently affixed. So it's almost like an afterthought. Let's get all the way around this. What do you think of it overall? I like it. I think it's uh -huh. nice and once we get it next to the He-Man, um, yeah. I think it'll really be good. I kind of wish on the, uh, and I think I said it on the He-Man, that the base was a little darker. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I like it overall. Um, it would be cool to see a figure that could sit on it, but um, you know, that's not what it was doing. I could sit my Mondo on it. I got my Mondo. My Mondo He-Man is a is a six scale though, and this is like quarter. So yeah. he'd look like a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> but but overall, um, it fits into the theme of of what I got going on. So I like it. You hear a scraping noise. Yeah. That's our real cat trying to get into the door. Mm, go see what he's doing. Well, we'll go ahead and move him next to the He-Man and take a final shot. Well, for the time being, this is where we got them so that He-Man and Battle Cat can be together. The bases match, and I do like the way they did that. I wish we could uh, probably put him a little higher because oh, um, Battle Cat, because most of the detail seems to be under him. Yeah. You know the paws. The uh, the mouth and everything is angled down. Yeah. 
He needs so, to be kind of high. Yeah, so with him down <clears throat> like that, it's kind of hard to see him. Yeah, you can't appreciate him that good. And He-Man is looking down, too. Yeah, they're both looking down. So they, it looks like they're meant to be at a higher position, but... Yeah, you know, right now, you know, that's what we can Yeah, do. it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Any final thoughts? No. Um, like I said, it fits into what I'm trying to do in the direction that I'm going in. Uh -huh. And I really like it and wish, wish I had more space <laughs> for it. Space is always a problem yeah. in collecting. Yeah. But overall, um, I'm pleased with it. I mean, like it's some minor details that we already talked about that sure. I think could have made it a lot better. But... Um, Overall, I think it's good. Well, guys, what do you think? Do you like Battle Cat? Do you think they go well together? Do you think Pop, Pop Culture Shock knocked it out? Are you feeling any of my criticisms about the two statues? Minor things, but, you know, it does, to me, it kind of stands out a little bit. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of our other videos. We do a lot more than just statue unboxings. We're kind of an all-in nostalgia channel. We get a lot going on here. So please do check it out. Take a look at the links down below for our Facebook and Patreon and Instagram and everything else. And we will see you again soon. So thanks for watching. Bye.